While battling ovarian cancer, Terry Winsack's backyard was her sanctuary. Diagnosed at stage three, she took comfort here as she braced for a long battle with cancer. But just a few months after treatment began, her doctor had good news. At that point, he said, yeah, you know, it looks like everything's good. I mean, officially in remission, as much as you can say that, and um, just continue to check up on things. What helped make the difference for Terry was a double dose approach to chemotherapy. Not only do patients get a dose through an IV, but a follow-up dose directly in the abdomen. A new study shows this dual approach pushed the three-year survival rate to 81% in advanced cases, a 10-point jump. The bad news? It also found that at six of the largest academic medical centers, only 41% of women got it, leaving doctors puzzled. Why are there such wide variations at large academic National Comprehensive Cancer Network hospitals in what is probably the best therapy for patients. Dr. David O'Malley helped conduct the study at Ohio State's James Cancer Hospital and Solov Research Institute, alongside five other leading cancer centers. He says the technique was first studied a decade ago, and today, half of all patients who get it are still alive 10 years after diagnosis. Not that long ago, less than one half of women who are, who are diagnosed with advanced ovarian cancer were alive only two to three years. That's why it's so important. O'Malley says one of the reasons the approach may be underutilized is because some patients may assume more chemo means more side effects, which isn't necessarily true. It's an approach Terry calls a no-brainer. It makes sense. I mean, to think like you put the, the chemo right into where the cancer was. I think that's just brilliant. At Ohio State's James Cancer Hospital and Solov Research Institute, this is Clark Powell reporting.